Well, until it gets too dark out here, out in this Texas weather, feeling good. Y'all put in the chat where y'all from right now, man. We in Texas. Make sure y'all put in the chat where y'all residing from right now. I want to know, man. Analytics are saying everywhere, all across the country and in other countries. But I want to see where y'all are from. So we're going to start it up. We feeling real good. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus a lot on back forth, back forth when it comes to the triceps and the biceps. And then for an added kicker, we're going to be really digging into how I've grown my forms throughout the years. It's a little movement. I, I, it's, I'll show y'all when we get into it. But salute to y'all for coming through. Make sure y'all coming through, hitting the chat. Where y'all at? We looking good. All right, Eric H., where you at? You in Richmond, D.C., Richmond? I see you in the DMV area. I see you in the DMV area. So we're going to get it in. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 12 dips. We're going to focus on 12 dips. And right after the 12 dips, we're going to do close grip chins, as we're going to start it off with. So we're going to do one set that same way. You're going to wait about 30 to 45 seconds. Then you're going to jump right up back on the bar. Not on the bar, but we're going to do, do dips. You're going to do dips again. And then you're going to do close grip pulls. We're going to do 10 of those. So 12 dips. Then you're going to come up and do close grip chin-ups. Wait about 45 seconds. Then you're going to do another 12 dips. And then you're going to do close grip overhand pull-ups. So what that's going to do is going to emphasize a lot on those forearms. A lot on it. It's going to get that brachialis too and that arm. You just don't want to just do curls all day. I've seen a lot of y'all do curls every single day. I mean, I'm, my arms are not getting bigger. I'm trying to sound like them. You know, I try to imitate some people. You know, oh, my arms. All I want to do is curl. Just, oh. My arms get bigger. You're not going to get, your arms is just hitting one portion of your arm. There's a lot of things you got to do to be able to build a complete arm. And we're going to go through that a little bit today. We're going to do it the calisthenics way, okay? So let's go ahead and start it up. I got the clock running. So you want to keep the time rolling with this one. You'll keep it rolling, keep on rolling. And I forgot to add, after you complete those four exercises, you want to wait a minute after that and then to do the four exercises again, okay? If you don't want to stand, hit that rewind. Or go ahead and just continue to watch me and you'll write it down yourself. You pick it up. All right? You feel me? Give me that salute. Let's go ahead and start it up. Get 12 of them. 12. So you're pushing up. Three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up. And that look good. We're going to get rid of this because I can hear it going off on the mic and I want the audio to be as crisp and clear as possible. So we're going to get rid of this. I don't know. So now, we're gonna go this way, I'm gonna show y'all. We're gonna get the close grip. Now I want it, you don't want it so close when you're doing the chin-ups. You can, but this is not how we're gonna do this time. You can have them close in the pink, close so much that you touch a pinky to pinky. I have a little bit out. I like to go like an inch out, instead of just coming so close. I like having an inch out, but they all hit your biceps, but it's hidden in different spots. So if you go a little bit wider, sometimes you're hitting the inside. You come a little bit in, sometimes you hit the outside. It all depends on the body and depends on your hand placement on what part of the biceps that you want to hit. So today, what I'm going to do is just switching it up. I've done all types of, you know, hand grips, but today this is what I chose to do. Appreciate y'all. So here, I, I like to imagine it's pinky to pinky, and then I just go about an inch between each other. Just sizing up. That's kind of like an inch. It might be, it might not. Let's go ahead and get it. We're getting 10 of them. Squeeze in the biceps every time. Because with that move, you have 45 seconds. Because with that move, sometimes people um, don't know how to create that good mind and muscle connection, and they're hitting a little bit of their back as well. So you have no choice but to hit back, of course. But you primarily want to fight to hit your biceps as much as possible. So do your thing. So we got, we go, like I said, 45 seconds. Then we go to the next round. And then after that, then take a minute. So just playing with the rest time. 